So we just enjoyed a burger at Hubert Keller's Burger Bar. And I knew it was Hubert Keller's. It was suck it, bitch. Stop it. It was so awesome, though. <laughs> All right, so. It was amazing. And I knew his face as soon as I saw it. And I was like, I can't believe this is his place. Right. Like, we, we had an extended yeah. conversation where I'm like, no, it's this super famous guy. I know I saw him from well, no, Top Chef Masters. He, well, no, I knew. Burger Bar. That's what oh, I remember. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just didn't realize he was also the same guy that had the $5,000 burger. Right, right. And I did. Suck it is again, the point. I, yet again, you say it. <laughs> I know, right? How many times do I have to say, yes, you're right, uh, and I was wrong? I don't know. Probably a few more. <laughs> okay, so. Mac and cheese croquettes? <laughs> Meh. Honestly, once you deep fry the mac and cheese, it gets a little gummy. See, so, I thought all the cheese dissipated. It was like all you were eating was the macaroni. There was a macaroni and breading. Yeah, yeah. not so much. Strawberry yeah, mojito. Oh, so That's because you good. love mojitos I'm now. I'm in love with mojitos. <laughs> Just had the first one yesterday. I know, um, right? And I had the Rossini burger. Which is the... Cheap version yeah, the, of the $5,000 burger. The $60 version of the $5,000 burger. What did you think of that burger? It had a foie gras. Foie gras and it. truffles. And truffles. Ironically, um, the truffles I can do without. They're too mushrooming for me. I love okay. the flavor. The truffle sauce that I had to pour over it was really good. Yeah. Um, I loved... Um, Oh, the burger was so good. Good. Was so good. Was I so had uh, something with a lamb. I don't remember. But I thought it was quite tasty. And the irony that we, you and I both agreed about was that we, we ate it with the with the ciabatta bread yep. and thought it was really, really good. I don't know if it's something that they do with with the sauce or whatever it is that they do with it. But I remember eating half my burger and I thought it was amazing. And then I started doing what I normally do, which is very... We frequently eat the burger without the bread. Right, yeah. right. I mean, it's, it's very Atkins of us where we just go straight for the meat. But it's really just because we want the flavor of the meat. We just want to go right for that. And cut the calories and carbs and everything right. else. But, but these yeah. burgers, like when you took them away from the ciabatta bread, I thought lost a shit ton of flavor well, to them. Well, yours was not a ciabatta. Mine wasn't. I don't remember what mine was on, but it was, it was just really tasty. But it really did taste different and, and better when it was on the bread. Yeah. I mean, it's like Hubert really dialed into, he wanted the whole fucking thing. Obviously, he's earned his reputation as a top chef. I know, right? I thought Burger Bar was quite good. It is a decadent meal. Yeah. If you want a burger oh, experience. The shoestring french fries were also really good. They were. They were good. Very I crispy, agree. Salty, yeah. tasty. Yeah. It's an experience. If yeah. you're a burger fan, this isn't something I recommend as a staple to you unless no. you've got the kind of cash you want to burn to do that, but it's a small place. I'll come back here again in a heartbeat. Very unique. We've already spoken that you and I both have other burgers that we would like to give it a shot. Yep. So, uh, Burger Bar, I, I highly recommended it awesome. at the shops of Mandalay Bay. Yeah. Yep.